Hello my YouTube family, Disciple here for New Gaming, bringing you guys a Sony Vegas video tutorial for Dark Souls. I want to give you guys the best render settings so you can make Dark Souls look super pretty. <clears throat> Whoa, losing my voice there. <clears throat> but yeah, I want, I want to help you guys, all aspiring directors and current directors that have Sony Vegas or have or are going to get it or planning on uh, getting it, are, can use for Dark Souls to render it out and make it look as best as possible. And I am using Sony Vegas Pro 10, I do know 11 is out now. But uh, I'm not going to get 11 just yet, and I don't believe many people will be just yet. Maybe in the future, but um, if you guys want to uh, know how to make your Dark Souls content look as good as possible, whether you're using an HD PBR or a different thing such as a Roxio Game Capture or even a Dazzle, uh, Dazzles can make uh, the content look a little better. I mean, this can make Dazzle content look a little better as well. Uh, but yeah, recommended you have an HD PVR, but if you don't, I know everybody can afford one. I couldn't for a very long time. Uh, I'll give you a guy some general settings that you can use to tweak to how you can use to match uh, your own recording equipment. Alright, first of all, let's go ahead and open up a uh, Dark Souls file. This one should be it right here. Yeah, that's a big Dark Souls file. It's a recording I did the other day. It's about 50 minutes long. Yep. Alright. So first things first, you want to go up here to Project Video Properties, or you can hit Alt and Enter to open this on Sony Vegas Pro 10. Once you open this, you want to, uh, you don't need to edit the template itself. I'll give you guys uh, spe specifics, and you should probably save this as a different template, probably called YouTube. All right. Uh, width is going to be 1280 to make it look as best as possible, and set height is going to be 720. Now you can go 19 something by 1080 for the highest HD but Dark Souls records in 720 so there's no there's no use spending extra time uh, rendering it out to a higher quality although it, it will look a bit different maybe a better but it won't really change it in essence uh, in actuality really it won't really change it uh, I'm not sure exactly how, how different it will look I'm not sure it may just add pixels to fill it in but it still won't it won't look much better because it records in 720 anyway so for Dark Souls this is what you want to do yeah, I leave it to you, to you guys to tweak it. Now, if you are recording in a lower resolution, either through Roxio or through Dazzle, you can still render it out to 720 and have it be considered HD, though it will uh, it will look a bit better, but it will still be a bit fuzzy because of whatever recording equipment you're, you were using. Uh, but I still recommend you go with 720. Now, field order is going to be none, progressive scan. Uh, pixel aspect ratio needs to be one or uh, square. Output rotation zero, original. Frame rate needs to be 29.970, and TST, NTSC, stereoscopic 3D mode off, pixel format 8-bit, field resolution rendering quality good, motion blur type Gaussian, deinterlaced method none, adjust source media to better match, blah blah blah, no, uh, pre-render files folder, you can you can uh, change this to wherever you want uh, your stuff to be, I left mine at default so I know where it is, you can change this if you'd like, it's just where the pre-renders go, You're, you will choose where the rendered file goes. Uh, Start all new projects with these settings. It's recommended you do this because every time you open up Sony Vegas, you won't need to restart. And it'll save you a lot of time. Alright, audio. Master bus mode. Stereo. Number of stereo buses, zero. Sample rate, uh, hertz, 44,100. Bit depth, 16. Resample and stretch quality, good. Pre uh, Pre-rendered recorded files folder. Now this is where the actual recordings go after you record the commentary through Sony Vegas. Uh, I've made a commentary folder in my created vids folder. And I think that's a good idea. You guys should probably try that. And again, all new projects need to start with these settings. Ruler uh, SMPTE drop 29.97 FPS video. Ruler start time 0000. zero, 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 zero. Uh, beats per minute 120. Beats per measure 4. Uh, notes that get 1 beat. Note that gets 1 beat quarter. Summary, now this is just uh, due, due to titling and naming things, you don't need to change this. And audio CD, you don't need to change all either, but I show you guys just so you don't get paranoid. Alright, now that's not it. But your video should now look better. It should be of, uh, it should be stretched and fit, fitted like this. Now, if you're recording on Rock Cell, you'll have black bars on the side. And I believe with Dazzle, you'll have black bars on the side to top as well. Uh, now, if you're recording with HD PVR, there is still black bars, which irks me. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but you guys can easily, easily, easily fix this no matter what uh, recording equipment you're using. So up top, you see this little black line on the HD PVR. It's very small, but it does bother me. And uh, if you want to get the highest quality, it's just best to remove it. And there's some on the side as well. So to remove these, first thing you're going to need to do is click the video that you have open on the uh, timeline down here. Right-click it. And now go to Properties. 
and you want to uncheck loop, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, and check reduce inlay flicker. You want to have a smart resamp resample, playback rate of one, under sample rate of one, and 59.94 fps. It, it it'll say it's playing in that, but it's recorded in 29, so it doesn't matter. You guys uh, don't change this though; it'll change the speed at which your video plays, and if you render it, it'll be all messed up. Uh, I don't think you need to change any of this. No, you don't need to change any of that. All right, and then hit OK. Then. After that, that will not get rid of the black lines. That will allow you to get rid of the black lines. So what you want to do next is either click here where it says Event Pan and Crop, or you can right-click the video on the timeline if you can't see that, and open Video Event Pan and Crop. Now, when this opens, you have a window pop up, and it will show your video preview at a different time. I'm not sure exactly how they choose what time it opens to. But uh, in real time, as you edit this, it will change this also over here. And now what you want to do, don't do what I just did, just drag it down a little bit below the top to get rid of that black line and do the same thing for the side, just a little bit and there you go. Now no matter how much you need to change this, you guys on Roxio or Dazzle can also do the same thing, get rid of those black bars. And Sony Vegas is a nice little program because it's so universal. And then after that I recommend you uh, type in whatever uh, rendering settings you're going to have. So I type in Dark Souls and then you can save it. Sorry I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> I'm trying to record this as I go, so let me go ahead and mute my phone. Shh, phone, be quiet. I'm in the middle of something. My phone doesn't own the shop. Anyway, I apologize for that, guys. It won't happen again. And then after you, sa you know, save it, and then you can exit this. Now, every time you open this, you can just uh, click here and go down to this and op and uh, select it. And that'll uh, automatically pan and crop. But remember, again, you have to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and loop, or it'll... it'll uh, Actually, when you try to edit it, it'll make bigger black lines. So make sure to do that every time as well. Now, next thing you can do is uh, I recommend you do this uh, color color corrector, and uh, what what it originally is a studio RGB to computer RGB, and that that gives the video a, a bit more depth. Now, after you do that, I recommend you render or you save one as HD. So you drag it on there, like like I like I did. Let's go to reset to none. And the same thing happens when this pops up. It'll say Studio RGB to Computer RGB. And uh, you can type in Dark Souls or whatever. I just recommend you save it as HD because this works for all the all the games I've done so far. Or a wide uh, array of games. This is a good render setting. So you just type it as HD. And there you go. Hit save. And then you can exit out of that. And one more thing that I recommend you do is um, color curves are set to none. You drag this down here. And then as you move these little black lines, if you move them up, It'll brighten the video up a bit and give it some more life, make it not so boring. So I recommend you move it about here, and then also you can save this. Now this you need to do separately for each game, as they do look different in brightness and color and all that. Uh, but I recommend about here for Dark Souls, and uh, you can save that. Sorry about the yelling in the background, I don't know what that's about. Uh, and then there you go, you can save that. And then, uh, now for you guys that are confused and are still new, after that you go File, Render As, and then, you, like I said, you can choose wherever it would go, Dark Souls, whatever, and you type in the name, click on the folder, open it, type in the name you want, and save it. I recommend also you save as type WMV. Now, the usefulness of the WMV is while you upload it to YouTube, it renders, it, uh, it processes, and it uploads at the same time, so it'll save you a lot of time. Maybe uh, 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how long your video is, so that's always a good idea. And then I recommend you save the template as uh, you save the template separately, or you rename it and save it. You want to have it like this, like I said, WMV. And then I'll go to your, I'll go to the settings real quick. Uh, so you don't, don't stretch video. Don't click that, and click Save Project Markers and Media File. Then Custom. Let's get into this real quick. Template. I said mine is Yoush. We use this blah 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 for HD quality. What I did was, whew, um. I forgot what I had clicked on. Let's just go into the separate audio 192 KB per per second, uh, 48,000 hertz, 16 bit stereo WMA, video 29.97 FPS, 1280 by 720 progressive, 6.3 MB millibytes per second, pixel pixel aspect ratio one. Now when you go over here and change all that, that should be saved, I believe. Include audio, blah blah blah. Yes, and then you should have it right here. CBR. Windows Media Audio 9.2 attributes are here: 192 KB per second, 48 kilohertz stereo audio video CBR. And then there you go. You can then you can go then you can go to video, 
again, HD quality video mode, CBR, Windows Media Video 9, high definition 1280 by 720, pixel, pixel access ratio 1, frame rate 29.97, um, sound, seconds per key frame 5, override default compression buffer 3 seconds, video smoothness all the way up, you want it as sharp as possible, bit rates you want internet LAN 6, 6M, and then index summary I don't yeah you don't need a chance to do this is just with titling and then project video render quality best and stereoscopic 3d mode use project settings so you won't really need to mess with that and that's how you render a video out to be as beautiful as possible I don't know why it just gave me these Japanese symbols and there we go I have my setting as Yash but I probably should save it as YouTube but nonetheless then you hit save it'll start to render your video and one more thing you guys can do if you guys want to get into commentary you can go oh, you can go to insert audio track and you click on this little thing right here, <coughs> which will ask you uh, where you want to record it. You can click Do Not Prompt to record folder in new projects, and it will always save it right here. And I got mine set in commentary, so that works. And then you uh, you can click wherever you want it to start, and you can hit this little button and start recording the commentary. And as you guys will see, I'll go over it real quick. Oop. You definitely uh, what what you what you're gonna want to do. Sorry about that. I didn't want to. Uh, hear the gameplay because if you don't you want to either hit solo so you can't hear the gameplay in the background or you want to just mute your computer so you don't hear it uh, but <coughs> so it doesn't echo because th this this audio file right here is already gonna play uh, the audio recorded from the game so either do solo while you're recording and then uncheck it before you render or else this uh, this whole track will be muted or you can just mute your computer which is what I would usually do so so I don't forget to um, so I don't forget to uncheck and then you can record it I'll do something do a little bit real quick so you guys can hear it it's it's, it's pretty live commentary though it's not exactly live hello my youtube family disciple here for new gaming uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys some Dark Souls PvP I'm gonna go down these stairs here real quick in a second and uh, see if I can get my blue eye, blue eye orb to get me any invasions Hello, my YouTube family. Disciple here for New Gaming. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys some Dark Souls PvP. I'm going to go down. Now, I apologize. At this point, my recording, uh, something happened to the audio uh, while I was recording this live, and I'm actually having to do it over, so I'm in a Sony Vegas window watching one. But what I was saying here is that uh, you're going to want to turn the volume down on the file above the recording. So when you render it out, the background noise in the middle file that I'm pointing to with my pointer there. So the background noise in the game doesn't uh, overtake your commentary and I know that sometimes I forget to do this in my videos and it shows. A lot of people tell me that next time turn the game volume down and all that but <clears throat> now I'm redoing this commentary here at the end but I'd like to thank you guys for your continued support. If I've left anything out or if you have any left more questions feel free to leave a comment below and let me request some feedback for things of this nature that hopefully you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, thank you guys for your continued support. Love each and every one of you and hope you guys will return some more for some more Dark Souls content. Uh, love you guys again. Yaosh damn it and God bless.